Hello, this is Dr. Gage from First Look MRI, and I would like to show you how to read an MRI of the elbow. So I'll start with this sequence. This is called an axial sequence. We're slicing from the top down, and this is the distal arm. This bone is the humerus, and to get oriented, this is the very back here. This is the triceps area. This broad tendon is part of the triceps tendon. And in the very, very front here, we see the very bottom of the biceps muscle. And there's a linear band in it, this little dark band, this is the central tendon of the biceps. So if we go down, down, we'll see the muscle completely disappear. And now we're out of the muscle, and all we're left with is this little tendon right there. So this is the biceps tendon. So we watch that thing come down, down. We're getting close to the elbow joint now. And here it is. And we're going to watch that biceps come all the way down below the elbow. Now we're below the elbow joint. We watch carefully, and then it finally attaches on this. This is the radial tuberosity. And this is well below the elbow joint, but the biceps tendon is nice and clean. We can see it uh, continuously all the way up, and at the uh, junction where it blends with the muscle, the muscular tendon is junction, or myotendinous junction up here, everything looks very, very nice. The other muscles deep to that are okay. There's another one back here, this little one that looks similar, kind of parallels it. This is the brachialis central tendon, and there's a big brachialis muscle. And that one, the attachment is not very well seen. This one you can see very clearly. The brachialis fans out and uh, just looks ill-defined at the attachment. So that is what I like to see on this view here. The biceps is the main thing. And now we're going to go to another orientation, which is called a sagittal image. So sagittal image, this is the very front here. This is that brachialis, that big, broad muscle that was beneath the biceps. It comes over here and attaches. And the biceps tendon is right here in front. We see the muscle ending here. So we had started up here and went down below. We see the biceps tendon coming over and then it attached right down here, this bump of the radius, this is the radius. And you don't really see the biceps very well on this view, so that's why we look for it on the other view. But on this view, what we do see is the anatomy of the humerus here. This is the very end of the humerus, and we see the ulna. This is called the olecranon process, the back here, and we also see this over here, this dark band coming down is the triceps. So the triceps tendon comes down, it attaches in the back of the olecranon, and that all looks good back there. This also is a good view to look for a tear of the anterior joint capsule. Also fluid, if there's a fluid in the joint that shows it probably best on this view here. And then we go to my favorite sequence, which is a coronal view. Now in the coronal view, we see more anatomy. We see the humerus up top here coming down, 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 ending. We see two bones in the forearm. One is called the ulna. We had seen that one on the other view there. That's where the triceps attaches. This is a little piece of the triceps attaching here. And this is the ulna. And then over here is the radius. And this little bump here is the radial tuberosity. That's where the um, biceps tendon attaches, that little bump there. And if we look off to the outside here, this is the lateral side, and we see the common extensor tendon. So there's a black band coming off here, this lateral side. This is called the lateral epicondyle, and the black common tendon comes down and it gives rise to several muscles in the forearm. These are the extensor muscles. And on the medial side, we see a similar thing, a, a group of muscles that converge together to a central common tendon here, and this is called the common flexor tendon. So we look in this area to see, are the tendons torn? Are they thick or irritated? Often they're thick and irritated, they have fluid, and we call that epicondylitis. So lateral epicondylitis, like tennis elbow, or medial epicondylitis, and this are, these are common with uh, sports injuries where people play repetitive uh, things like uh, tennis or golfing. And uh, anyway, this patient looks normal. The other thing we look for in this view is the, uh, the ligamentous complexes. So, so the medial ligaments are over on this side. We have the ulnar collateral ligament. This is the ulnar side. And the ulnar collateral ligament comes off of the humerus here, and it comes down. This little linear band and attaches over here on this little pointy part of the bone. This is called the sublime tubercle, this pointy part is part of the humerus. And this is a little thin ligament here, extremely important. And findings, uh, the, you can have a tear that are really, really subtle, so you have to look really, really careful at that. And on the outside here, we have some other, other ones. We have what's called the lateral ulnar collateral ligament and the radial collateral ligament, and they blend together and they are right deep to this common extensor tendon. So there's really three things out here, this tendon on top, you have these two ligaments underneath, and they all kind of look like one thing. So those are very hard to really appreciate unless there's an injury 
and fluid dissects in there, and then you have a fighting chance. But they really look like just one common unit out here laterally. So we're going to look here a little more carefully in another sequence. Now in this sequence, marrow is dark in the bone here, and all the subcutaneous fat is dark, muscle is dark. The only thing that's bright is fluid or fluid signal. So you have a little bit of fluid here in the joint, really lights up here, so we know something's wrong. And also over here in this area called the sublime tubercle, the humerus, there's a little bit of brightness which is not normal. And before we had looked at the ulnar collateral ligament that comes down and it attaches right here. Well, right where it attaches, there's marrow edema. The ligament's a little thick, and also there's a wisp of brightness in the deep soft tissues overlying that. So this is an injury of the ulnar collateral ligament. It doesn't look like it's completely yanked off, but the, there is marrow edema and it's thick, and so this is injured, and this is something the orthopedic surgeon would definitely want to know about. And this is another sequence looking at the very same thing, that ulnar collateral ligament coming down, the attachment, which is not quite normal, and a little bit of edema over the edge. And so that's it. That's how we uh, look at an MRI of the elbow. Hopefully that was interesting and helpful. And uh, thank you very much for watching.